this is Dr. Musma. I'm one of the baby doctors. I believe I'm talking to Mrs. Sam, mother of John. Uh, yes, doctor. This is uh, mother of John, Sam, Mrs. Sam. Thank okay. you, Mrs. Sam, for coming over here. Uh, well, I'm uh, uh, Dr. Musna, one of the doctors over here. I wanted to explain to you about Sam's, about John's health. So is it fine? Can we go ahead? Yes, doctor. Sure. Go ahead. Would you like anyone to accompany us while we are having this conversation? Uh, no, doctor. Actually, uh, my husband is far away. So I am alone here. Okay. Okay, okay, no issues, Mrs. Sam. So I just wanted to know up till now, Mrs. Sam, how much do you know about John's condition? Uh, actually, doctor, my son, John, uh, maybe from three months, I see sometimes he become breathless and stops feeding, tired. Uh, and mm -hmm. after some time, maybe in within five minutes, he recovers himself. I mean, he was fine. I was thinking this is something normal and I did not come. But today it went for a long time. I mean, he was, he was breathless. I feel tired. So I brought him to the um, emergency. They said that his, his heart is racing fast and they gave some medication mm -hmm. to control it. Uh, but I don't know more than that. Okay, you're right. You're right. Uh, uh, entire information that Mrs. Sam that you have is right. You have a racing heart rate, which was controlled with the medicine. And then we did one uh, test to study the electric discharge of the heart, right? Yes. And that test showed that uh, Sam, uh, John is having something called as Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. We call this WPW. Have you heard any time, Mrs. Sam, about this or read, have you ever read, read anything about this? No, doctor. I, if this is the first time, what is this you're telling Wolf Parkinson? I don't know. I am hearing this for the first time. Okay, okay. I, 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 do, I, I do understand about this. So I'll try my best to make it as simple as possible. If at all you do not understand or I have to repeat anything, do tell me, Mr. Sam. I'll be more, uh, I'll not be more than happy. So this is what the heart that I have drawn, Mr. Sam. You can see this. And what I have drawn is a normal electric discharge, which is happening, normal electric uh, uh, pathway on the heart that takes place. Okay. okay. And because of this, the heart keeps on beating. However, unfortunately, uh, John is having an extra pathway. You know, I'll just finish right like that. I, I, I don't know about that one. Mm. Extra pathway, which is connecting the mm. upper part of the heart to the lower part. And because of this extra track, Mrs. Sam, mm. uh, John is having these problems, you know, that he's coming for the, uh, another time, you know, with this problem of racing heart, feeling breathless and everything. Are you with me, Mrs. Sam? Uh, yes, yes, doctor. Repeat? Uh, no, then now I want a solution for this uh, because this is happening several times. Uh, this is the first time I got to know. So how will you treat this? Yes, okay. we, we are here for the best health concern and health interest of children. And we as a team want to support. So we are going to help uh, John initially by seeing if he's repeatedly having this, you know. Uh, the, we are going to have a team of doctors, especially the heart doctor, who will, who is going to see Sam and who is going to evaluate and uh, who is going to start on special medicines, okay? And these medicines will reduce the abnormal electric discharge from the upper okay. part to the lower part, right? Are okay. You with me? Okay. Okay, doctor. So, um, any medicines you can give to him? Yes, there are medicines that are going to be given, you know, uh, which will, they are called as anti uh, arrhythmic medicine, something like Veripamil, the names are. However, the heart doctor will decide which is the best one for him to be started. And so that he can improve this abnormal electric discharges which are taking place in his heart, you know, through that abnormal tract, that gets reduced. Very rarely, uh, there are some. Uh, children, Mrs. Sam, who do uh, who, in spite of being on medicine, you know, uh, do not kind of respond to it. Are you with me, Mrs. Sam? 
Ah, uh, yes, doctor. So, uh, so what is the treatment? No, I I don't want this medicine to be given to my child, doctor. So, is there any permanent solution for this? Well, there is a permanent solution where we use uh, some, you know, like waves or electric discharge in order to cut this tract, you know, which is called as radio frequency ablation. Okay, it's just using some energy to cut or to destroy this tract. But before that, the heart doctor will take for the medicines to be used only if it is not responding on medicines and he is repeatedly having this problem. Then this procedure will be done. So sad. Okay, because my child is just five months, I don't want to give him any medicine. I feel that the medicines will have side effects. We are going to continuously monitor Mrs. Sam John's side effects. He's, he does not want to be left on the medicine. We call him. We'll explain to you the amount of side, the number of side effects that are going to be there, right? right? And we'll be monitoring them whether he's happy. At any point of time, we think we need to change the drug or do something else. We'll go ahead with that. Okay, Mr. doctor. Sam. Okay. So I know it's been a lot of information, and it's the uh, it's a worrying time for you. Uh, it's 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 being a, a, a difficult time for you presently, Mrs. Sam. But we as a team are here to support you and support you, right? Okay. So uh, um, yes, doctor. So as my, uh, I am afraid because he gets uh, blue, he gets uh, shortness. Today he was blue. That's why I brought first time. So is, any time is he going to die? This is my worry. So what can I do in the I home? I was just going to tell you that, that we are going to give you an action plan also, Mrs. Sam. I was just okay. See, three plan. minutes left. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. We are going to give you an action plan. And that's what I was just going to come and tell you, right? Okay. That uh, in case if he uh, develops the racing heart and he has this kind of uh, feeling, you need to kind of immediately come to the uh, to the emergency, right? If you get these warning signs, we'll give you an action plan. What actually you can do initially, if at all he pains, you need to keep him in the recovery position. Okay, and how do you bring a, uh, bring to us? How do you give the medicines? What are the side effects? We'll even give you leaflets regarding what is Wolf Parkinson syndrome and how we are support. And like it will be explained to you in a simple manner about everything. Okay, Mrs. Sam. Okay, so I will just summarize, Mrs. Sam, what we have discussed. Is it fine? What yeah. Do, we, do you have some? We, I have told you that. Uh, the repeated attacks that Sam is having is because of an underlying condition called his worst Parkinson white, for which we need to, because it's repeated, we need to uh, see, look into the heart doctor. If you require Mrs. Sam, I'll even keep another meeting with the heart doctor, okay? We'll explain to you how is the further management going to be exactly. So the medications mm -hmm. would have to be started, right? Are you with me, Mrs. Sam? Oh, yes, 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 doctor. Yes. And we will even give you the advice and the alar uh, the action plan as well as the alarming symptoms. When do you have to come back to us? Okay. So if there is anything else in your mind, you know, just one meeting is not enough. I know you must be having a lot of queries. I would request you to jot down all the questions that you have so that in the next meeting we can address to them also. Okay, doctor. Sure. So we are here for John's best uh, interest, you know, and I know you're a keen mother. You are really very, very worried about John's health and we as the team also want John. Okay, inshallah. So I think it was fine. I, we, I started the time late, so it's okay. It's fine. It's on time. Uh, because in the beginning I forgot, then I keep. <laughs> so, so it's okay. It was on time. Uh, but I want to tell you, uh, tell for the options uh, you give her, like you go step by step. Uh, she okay. was not, she was, uh, she was noticing this, I think through to two to three times before coming to you. And this time it was severe. That's why she came to you, right? Uh -huh. This was the scenario given to you. And when she came, the heartbeat was 260 and it was controlled with adenosine. 
and then by the ECG, they got to know that it was WPW, right? Yeah, I think the ECG will show delta wave. So from that, they diagnosed, right? Uh, so here for the ECG, you will tell that, uh, I think even you explained, but I'm just telling you, it's an, uh, you will record the electrical impulses on the heart. The recording of electrical impulse of the heart is called is known as ECG. You have you, because we have to explain, right? If we say ECG, yeah, yeah, the record is the electrical activity of the heart. Yeah, or you can say recording. You are recording it on a paper, right? Uh, so you can use the word recording. The recording of electrical impulse of of the heart. Uh, on a paper also you can say is ECG and through the ECG we got to know that uh, you, you can also tell if you want it is called electrocardiogram if you want to explain no problem but you have already explained what electrocardiogram is it is the recording of electrical impulse of the heart on the paper okay and through that we got to know that your child has a condition called WPW Okay, have you heard about it? You asked it, okay? So she will say, obviously say no, and then you'll start explaining. So to start explaining, you use the diagram, okay? You told that uh, in the diagram, I want to show, I don't know whether they will allow you or not, but I will just show you one minute. I don't know, white, yeah, whiteboard. You can see the whiteboard, right? Yeah, I can see. Okay, so I'll just draw the heart like this. Okay, and uh, so you, this is the right side and this is the left side. So from the right side, we have a node and this is the normal pathway. So in your child, there is one more abnormal pathway coming in this way. And this is giving extra impulse. This is carrying some extra impulses, electrical impulses. Because of that, your child's ra heart ra is raising. You should show this extra extra pathway also. This is the explanation. Okay, then she will I ask. Was, I, I was going to take a red pen, you know. Now I have this blue. I thought I'd even take a red one. No problem. Make extra. You know, I'll keep all those pitch pens on my exam day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the spirit to smile. <laughs> okay. Then what happens is the, uh, after explaining this much, you will tell them that, uh, 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 you will tell her step by step uh, that you will be teaching the, so doctor, what my is my child going to die? This will be the question. So you have to tell that uh, at the moment, he's not in a life-threatening situation at this moment. Okay. But okay. uh, I cannot say uh, any time. So what we are doing is whenever you think that he has uh, this, uh, uh, I mean, when she sees something different in him, like he starts SOB, shortness of breath or tiredness, she, she will be given a device to measure his pulse at home. Okay. Home management, I'm teaching you. She will be given a device like, like uh, to measure the pulse at home and she will do what uh, she will check the pulse uh, if it is raised she will be taught some basic managements like put the ice cold water on the child's face okay, okay. Uh, putting the uh, she may ask you how this putting ice cold water doctor it is five months old i will put ice cold water my child will shiver like this you will just tell her that by doing so it will stimulate a nerve in your body which will reduce the racing heart, which will reduce the um, uh, heart, like which will discharge through the abnormal tract, right? Or no, or racing heart. No, no, no. No, no, just tell her that it will stimulate the nerve in your body. How, how this uh, cold water will act, you will explain her. You, it will stimulate the nerve in your body, which will reduce the racing of your heart. Okay? okay, like this. So this will be the explanation for immediate management at home. So you will tell that I we will arrange a session for you to teach the emergency management at home of the baby. 
okay uh, this is a good point here yeah. arrange a session uh, to to teach the emergency management of the baby this is the thing she is worried is my baby going to die so the the this here is not every time your baby will have a the racing heart it is not 24 hours right so you will tell her that not every time your baby will have a racing heart whenever you see that there are some your baby is not normal and you are thinking that there is some problem just check her heart rate and record it in a diary also she will maintain a diary also to see the frequency how frequently the child is getting okay and she will do the emergency management it will be thought to her okay so this is the thing like simple she will put the ice water on the baby's face cold water on the baby's face this is the step the next step about your management you will tell her that mm -hmm. the, the emergency if if he comes to the emergency the same thing like we will try with this uh, to stimulate this nerve if it is not improved we will give some medication and improve like that in in with you but for the management that he shouldn't get this episode you will go for medication only if he is having frequent episodes like mm -hmm. several frequent episodes then only you will give some medicines don't mention the name virapamil and all to the mother no need if it was a um, medical student it's okay for the mother just tell we will use some but medication there's different flikenide they have written you know they have written flikenide I'll just check. I hand over. Why did I say verapamil? I have seen verapamil, or I don't know. I think propranolol is used, not verapamil. No, no, no. no. Propranolol. Ah, uh, use it propranolol. I'm not sure about propranolol, yeah. But, okay. Uh, what is the no, name? we will go back and check it. For me, it's propranolol. So you will tell her, uh, okay, you will tell her that uh, you will, uh, no need to mention here the name of the medicine, that is safe. So uh, tell her, even in any other scenario, don't mention the name of the medicine. Tell her we will give some medications to control the heart rate. Uh, and still, even with the medications, if it is not controlled, there are some procedures. Don't tell the operation, then she'll start uh, sedation and all those things. <laughs> there are some pro mm -hmm. procedures with the heart doctor. And even to start the medication, we will refer you to the heart doctor. To do everything, she'll be followed under heart doctors, right? So there is there are some procedures at the heart doctor through which they can, uh, as you said, they can uh, cut or they can display destruct or destroy this uh, extra pathway or you can say we can cut mm. this extra pathway there are some procedures which will be explained by the heart doctor uh, this is the final mm. thing but the uh, your a baby right now is very small she said she don't want to take medication she want to go directly to this so you will tell her uh, your baby is still very small but i don't know what is the exact protocol with the heart doctor so i will refer you to him yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, he was not giving. What you said is all given in uh, this in the gosh, na, managing episodes at home. Very mm. nicely. The doctors will try some tricks to slow your heart. Yeah, like, they will teach you. her. They will take a teaching session for her. And uh, you will, for everything, you will refer to the heart doctor now. Basic management, if you want, you can do emergency management, you will be doing. But for the starting of medicines or anything, radio ablation or anything, uh, there, there is some procedure to cut this uh, extra uh, pathway uh, for which we can refer to the heart doctor. But I think your age is very small right now. Uh, so uh, I, I don't know what age they prefer to do. So I will arrange a meeting with them. You can have a meeting with them. At the same time, Mrs. Sam, keep recording your child's uh, heart rate at home uh, whenever you think the child is not well so that we'll get to know how frequently he is getting the attacks it will give us information whether we should start him on medication or not like this no need to start medication for every child with svt they will themselves have okay. side effects right uh, maybe uh, it's so coming once in a month yeah maybe it's yeah. coming yeah. once in a month months in 15 days uh, and it may just improve with the emergency measure of uh, cold water. Uh, they need follow up with the heart doctor. That's it. You write a beta blockers or a calcium channel. Where where it is written? 
patient info so i'm writing beta blockers uh, that's why i told channels. propranolol and also virapamil yeah, they use virapamil was calcium channel but i don't know whether there are many calcium channel blockers but he did not mention the names of the drugs the patient info Mm, it has only mentioned calcium and beta blockers can, with secondary cardioversion for refractory arrhythmia. First, a vehicle maneuver, second IV adenosin, then beta blocker or calcium. Yeah, blockers. yeah, we no no need to go for this uh, I, uh, conversions and all. We cannot make her understand. No, 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 we will not remember. All. Yeah, Just yeah, yeah. Just if any medical student tells, if with particular with adenosine, you know, there can be a chance of atrial fibrillation. Just remember. Just remember. Don't 